the All Blacks 2022 squad. It is getting announced extremely soon, so I decided why not try and predict who will be in the squad. But if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Nonetheless, let's get straight into the prediction. So it's been a while since we have done some sort of squad prediction, but I've got me old friend back Ian Foster. He will have a lot of big decisions to make, and it will be very awesome to see who makes their way into the All Black squad to take on the Irish, but now we will look through at my squad. Pretty much what I have done is I've taken the 2021 All Black squad announcement and I will be changing around the names that I feel will be missing out and putting in a player in their place just to show who is staying in the squad in my opinion and who will be missing out. But first of all we will start with the hookers. So Asafa Amua is the first name on the 2021 sheet, but I am changing that, getting rid of him and instead I am bringing in Summer Sony Takiyahu, had a huge amount of carries throughout Super Rugby Pacific and has been looking very good, has improved his line out drastically as well since last season, so that is why Samasone Takiaho for me does get the nod, then Dane Coles, I am leaving him in there as I believe he is match fit currently, and then the last hooker that I have got for my All Black side, it is Cody Taylor, now we move on to the props, there are quite a few options and also quite a few changes from last year. So first of all on the list it is George Bauer, next name Ethan DeGroote, I have actually taken him out as well, the reason for that is I am putting back in a man who was injured at the start of the 2021 squad announcement and that is Offa Tawanga Fasi. so he makes his way back in for Ethan DeGroote. The rest of the names I have left identical, so it is Nipololala, Tyrell Lomax, Angus Tarval and Carl Tunukiafi and I am leaving all four of those players in as I feel all of them have done just enough this season to be able to keep themselves in there and stay in the All Black squad. Now the locks, Scott Barrett, leaving him there. Brody Retallick, I've got also. And now for the change, Patrick Tuipilotu, of course, playing in Japan currently. So is uneligible for selection. So I decided why not give it to someone else who does play for the Blues and has been playing a little bit of lock in more recent times and that is Big Red Tom Robinson. And if he doesn't get a spot as a lock, I think he's got a good opportunity of being able to slot in as one of the loose forwards. But I have got Big Red Tom Robinson in there and I hope he does get the call up to join up with the All Blacks. The next two names, they are staying identical. It is Tupavai and then Sam Whitelock. I am leaving both of them in. Even though Sam Whitelock currently has a thumb injury, I believe he won't be missing out on the selection unless it is a lot more serious than he lets on because the man's just, he got it strapped up and he's fine. He just doesn't seem to mind. So I think he will be back relatively soon. Now the loose forwards, there's been quite a few changes Due to injury, Ethan Blackett was the first name there. Sadly, due to an arm injury, I believe it is the wrist that is injured. And he will be out for the rest of the season. So because of that, it opens up the door for another guy to make his way in. And I have gone with a Crusaders teammate of his. And that is Cullen Grace. He has peaked at just the right time to really get a look in for the All Blacks. Scoring two tries in the last game of the semi-final. And I think he should have a good crack of making his way in. Then Shannon Frizzell is the next name. I'm not too sure whether or not there is still an injury lurking for Shannon Frizzell. So due to that... I have swapped him out, but there is a good chance if he is match fit that he might find his way into the squad. But for him, I've actually gone with another Crusaders player in that loose forward trailer, and that is Tom Christie. The man has been sensational throughout Super Rugby Pacific, making a total of 233 tackles throughout the Super Rugby Pacific competition. He is the leading tackler. He's got a great work rate, and I think he would really add something to the AB's loose forward trailer. Then the next name that I have got, it is Akiriwani. I am leaving him in. Luke Jacobson also will get to stay in the squad. And then Dalton Papali is a little bit of a grey area at the moment. He did recently have keyhole surgery. So whether or not he is back in time is something to be seen. So I have got my squad as if he isn't going to be back. But if he is, I would say more than likely he actually probably takes the spot of Tom Christie. But for this position, instead of Dalton Papali, I have gone with Sam Kane. He does get his way back into the squad as he was actually with them for the later stages of the All Black season last year. It wasn't there for the first initial announcement. Next two players I'm keeping in, Artie Savia and also Hoskins the Tutu. They are not going anywhere, I wouldn't think, and they are going to be the last two loose forwards that I have got on my list. Next, it is going to be the inside backs. Finley Christie did get to join up with the squad last year on debut. I've actually taken him out, and that is for TJ Perenata. I think TJ Perenata, due to his experience, and I think this man likes him a little bit, so he might end up selecting him rather than Finley Christie. Then the next name, Aaron Smith. I'm leaving him there. And then the last name in the trio, it is Brad Weber. And I feel he has been playing very well for the Chiefs recently. So he will be able to keep himself in the All Black squad. Now moving on to our fly halves. Bowden Barrett, Richie Moonga. If I took either of those two out, I think I would possibly be asked to leave New Zealand. So I've left them both in there. And I do like this country very much. Please do not deport me. Next set of players, it will be now the centres. So the first name, Braden Enoch. I am taking him out. And I am putting in Leicester Fayanaanuku. I think that man's going to get the call up this year. 
And we will have to wait and see whether or not he has played more in the centres or maybe more out on the wing, depending on what position Ian Foster wants to put him at. Then David Harvelli leaving him in, although he might be injured. So whether or not that cheekbone has recovered will depend on whether or not David Harvelli is in there. So if it doesn't recover, I think Roger Tuovasashek might be the front runner for that number 12 jersey. But David Arvelli for now, I have got him in the squad. Rico Ioani, he is staying there. Then the next name, Anton Leonard Brown, unfortunately out with an injury. So I decided why not bring in someone who did actually end up out with an injury a little while ago for the All Blacks. And that is Jack Goodshoe. I think he will make his way back into the AB side for this year. And then the last name on that list, I'm leaving him there. And that is Quinta Pai. Played very well throughout Super Rugby Pacific. And he will be staying in my squad now for the outside backs. I have got Jordy Barrett there. I'm not too sure whether or not he's going to be a fullback in the squad. Or occasionally maybe they give him a run at 12. But more than likely fullback will be where he stays. George Bridge. I know a lot of people wanted to get rid of him last year. This year I have taken him out. And it is kind of injury permitting. Because I've got Caleb Clark there. If Caleb Clark is not match fit. I think it will be George Bridge. Who will be able to make his way back into that squad. But for now I have got Caleb Clark. As one of my left wing options. Then Will Jordan. It's got to be there. I feel like he's almost the first name you write on the team sheet at the moment, the way that he's playing in Super Rugby. Got a whole heap of everything, really, whether it's tries, clean breaks, running meters, you name it, the man's doing it at the moment. So he has got to be there, in my opinion. And then Damian McKenzie, he is in Japan, so he will not be there. So instead of him, I have put Stephen Petafeta as my option, as he can play that fly half and fullback role, similar to what we saw from McKenzie last year for the All Blacks. And then the last name on my list, it is going to be a man who plays more on the right wing than anything else. And that will be Sever Reese as the last man in my All Black squad. But that is my side. We have to wait and see how many of those players do make it through into the All Black squad. Which is being announced just a little bit later on in the day from when this video does come out. But thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also let me know who else you would add to the squad and who you would take out. And I will see you all for the next one.